let's talk about the Modbus communication protocol. This protocol was created in 1979, however it's still actively used in automation world. I recommend to read the article on Wikipedia which briefly describes the protocol and advanced information you can find on the Modbus official website I downloaded three specifications. Also I suggest Modbus parser which, I which is helpful to check Modbus packets. We will use Modbus simulator that we downloaded in the previous video. Run ad the administrator application and create a new project. As we did before, create a communication line and device. Numeric address is unit ID, which can, can be set in the device configuration. String address is an IP address. We use local IP address. Um, you can use different interfaces to interact with Modbus devices. You can use serial port, for example, if you have RS485 line, Modbus behavior is master. TCP client is commonly used to interact directly with devices or through Modbus Ethernet converter behavior is master, connection mode can be individual or shared, the difference is displayed in the hint. In case of using a converter you should choose shared connection. Remote host is available for shared connection. Modbus TCP port by default is 502. Reconnect is useful parameters for example, if your device, one of your devices on the communication line is off, um, con attempts to connect to it takes a time. To avoid spending this time, you sh could increase this parameter, and the next connection attempt will be made after a period of time. Stay connected and disconnect on error checkboxes are useful to improve communication if it is not very good. Um, Modbus converters can work as TCP client and then communicator would be a server. Behavior is master, connection mode, probably shared if you use converter. TCP port is obvious and inactive li lifetime to disconnect inactive devices. We will use TCP client with the default options. Then go to device polling page. Timeout and delay are useful parameters. Uh, timeout is a time how long to wait for a response and delay is a time period between the response and the next request. If you use slow connection like uh, 
GSM connection, you should increase timeout to 5000 milliseconds, for example. Protocol. There are three subtypes of Modbus protocol RTU, ASCII, which is old and not currently used, probably, and Modbus TCP. Now we are using Modbus TCP. Modbus template can have several groups. Each group is a separate request to a device. Data block. You should read the specification to understand more about data blocks. I can say that coils and holding registers allows not only reading but also writing. For example, five elements and group two will be coils. Coils, some kind of flags that can be zero or one. Let's give them names. We will use integer data type, um, also float type is commonly used and in case of float type usually byte order is needed which is often 2301. We will use integer. Read only checkbox blocks writing on the application level and bit mask checkbox says to the administrator with it to create additional channels of the calculated type to extract bits. Let's save the template. Template options are addressing. Different device manufacturers use different addressing. Some of them use zero based, others one based. If we switch to zero based, you can see that the same registers or um, new addresses were created for them. And from the physical point of view, nothing changes. Uh, these addresses, zero based and one based, are only logical addresses. And hexadecimal also affects how addresses are displayed. Default byte order is useful to set byte order for all registers. It's usually needed for floating points values. And then validate template to check that register tag codes are unique. Save, click OK, and upload the configuration. I should add that UDP protocol also can be used for Modbus, but this type of protocol um, doesn't provide 
uh, built-in check of packages so in this case you should use uh, Modbus RTU which does checksum uh, validation I will not say it let's change okay open the device data page and check data we can send data using a simulator you can see that data is changed in communicator also set coils okay we need to create channels and complete the configuration by creating views no channels currently create add our channels are here the view and enter view records in the table also I usually set web station address Modbus register map is usually provided by the device manufacturer or in case of using PLC by a PLC software developer. Open the web interface. We need a few seconds to uh, prepare the web application. Username is admin, password is SCADA by default. Okay, you can see the data. We use integer registers right now. Everything works well. Thank you and goodbye.